The first two years at UC, I was working full time. So I was working as a manager at Wendy's 60 hours a week. I could feel myself really getting run down and drained to the point where I didn't have the energy to kind of get through the day anymore. Kirk Perry was in the second business law class and it met at nine o'clock in the morning. I called on him because I noticed that he was not fully attentive, which was very uncharacteristic since he was a student that had an aptitude for the subject, was very engaged. When he realized that I had called on him, I said to him, welcome back to the class, Mr. Perry. So at that point, he answered the question and then he came up afterwards and apologized, and said that he had had to close the Wendy's at 1.30 that morning in Middletown. And you know, I explained to her, my situation um, in terms of working full time and being drained and she said well I think you have the potential to be anything you want I would hate to see you not finish your undergraduate degree in the business school why don't you go talk to a friend of mine named Clyde Parrish and Clyde was the Dean of undergrad students at the time I was resigned to the fact that I wouldn't get a meeting with him and I was gonna start night school and uh, he comes around the corner and I told him my story. I you know, explained where I'd come from, first one in the family, working full time, had a 4.0 at the time. He says, Get, be back in a minute. So he leaves and comes back a couple minutes later, not a couple, like 15 minutes later. He's got a piece of paper in his hand and he, on the spot, gave me a full scholarship offer. And I'll never forget this as long as I live. He said, the only thing I ask of this, you know, two things. He said, one, keep your grades up, which I know you will. But he said, two, make a difference while you're here. If I'm gonna enable you to do this, make a difference while you're here. And so that was really, for me, the pivot point that changed really my, the entire trajectory of my life. And when I graduated from UC, I had never been west of Chicago and never been east of New York. And if somebody would have told me then, 29 years later, that I would have spent six years of my life in Asia and Korea and Japan, or that I would now be working for this company called Google, which wasn't even around, not even close when I joined P&G, I would have laughed and said, no way. So that, that's what my education and experience at UC enabled me to do when I, when I joined P&G. I was there when Kirk joined P&G. I was there from the very beginning. I saw what an incredible person he was first day, all the way through when we were both general managers 20 years later, running the global Pampers business. And honestly, what I can tell you is there is no greater leader that I saw inside of the Procter & Gamble company than Kirk Perry. Yeah, my journey to Google is really one of the craziest stories of my life. I mean, I literally had no intention of leaving P&G or Cincinnati. Our family talks about it as we were planted, we were growing, and we were content. Worked for a great company, had a great organization. There were so many things that happened, so many signs, so many things um, that led me here. Uh, there wasn't just a business decision because I could have stayed and had a shot at the top job at P&G. I could have stayed in the industry, but I chose to do something very uncomfortable for me. Switched industries, senior level, late in my career, moved my family, like flipping everything thrown up in the air. I was scared to death. It's a different industry, different jargon, everything was different. Um, but by far the best decision I've ever made in my life. I think in teaching you like to see potential develop, and certainly with Kirk I've seen that. One of the things that I used to run into in conferences is I would go to a conference and I would say that I was from UC and they would say, which one? Because the University of California, University of Colorado. And I, now I can say the one that educated Kirk Perry, president of Google Brain Solutions. All those things that I learned as a student at UC apply day to day in the business world. I don't care how high you go, those principles never change. I mean, I know, you know, when I started out as a brand assistant at Procter, we're now leading a pretty big chunk of business at Google. I mean, the things that got me from A to Z remain consistent, and I learned those things from UC. I learned things like leadership isn't that complicated. Leadership is being authentic, it's being humble, and it's being vulnerable. And that was role modeled to me at UC by people like Tom Wagner, who was the Associate Provost for Student Affairs back in the day, or Norm Baker, who was the Provost, or Joe Steger, who was the President. I saw those guys, what was role modeled for me at the university, is no matter who you are, you have equal opportunity to make an impact. Kirk's really quick with praise. He's also um, incredibly clear at suggestions of where you can improve, where your organization can improve really setting breakthrough objectives and coaching you along the way to be able to get to those. He's also an amazing mentor. 
Um, he takes time not only for me and all of his direct reports, but he takes time for everyone in the organization and even everyone in the community. And I'm at a restaurant in Japan after I first landed, and there's a picture of Kirk Perry on the wall of a restaurant in Kobe, Japan. And I'm thinking, how is it possible, except for the fact that Kirk cares about people, whether it's someone who's in his organization or someone who's serving him food. No one knows Kirk and would say anything other than Kirk cares about people. No matter what he is involved in, he is centered in his faith. He has belief in God. He has belief in himself. He has belief in the people that work with him and around him. He definitely has belief in his family. And he really has belief and faith that people are good and he will bring out the good in everyone around him. I want to lead a life in business that's significant, that you know my legacy will live beyond my time at a given company or in a role because I've impacted people. But the reality is when you run with other people, when you work together as a team, many greater things happen because of that. I don't care what you do in life, it's way better together than it is apart.